heat wave or not, Afton State Park has been a hot spot throughout the pandemic. We have had uh, an increase of 184% in visitation. Park Supervisor Linda Rademecki says the numbers have tapered off only slightly during this warm start to the summer. But on Saturday, the temps are finally falling and getting in is dropping from a fee to free. We do expect to have more people tomorrow. And it's those people who maybe haven't been to a state park before and they just want to check it out without having to buy the permit first. Even though the permit is a great deal, at $35 a year, you can visit 72 state parks. Plenty of people took advantage of that last year. Statewide, both permits and trail use were up by 50%, and overnight camping went up 33%. But that also means more crowded trails and more competition for those campsites. Are there certain times or certain parks or certain things that people should keep in mind if they want to see fewer people? We do have some trails we can recommend if someone comes in and they say, you know, I want to be on one of those less traveled trails. The park staff, wherever, whatever park they end up going to, they're going to know those trails and they're going to know the popular ones. And she says you don't have to wait to ask. Go online or just pick up the phone before making your plans. It's always nice to call ahead. Each park is going to have their own peak time. Ours here on a Saturday tends to be 10. We might fill up by 10. And when I say fill up, the park is huge. So the park doesn't fill up, but our parking is limited. And if competing for parking just to get outside doesn't sound appealing, Linda says consider visiting any of the parks that are an hour or more drive from the metro. So if you go a little bit out of that range of radius of circle, uh, those parks are a little less busy. Still within a day's drive, you can drive out and drive back. No matter where you go, she says, remember to leash your dogs, pack your water, pack out your trash, and take caution if you plan to swim. We do not have lifeguards here. Nope. Very sandy bottom on the St. Croix. There are drop-offs. It's a river. It's always moving. Boat traffic is probably going to be busy. It's a, it's a hot weekend. But we do have our swimming beach on the St. Croix that we have marker buoys out so boats won't come in too far. We also here have a life jacket station where you can just take a life jacket and use it while you're here and then we ask you just to put it back. And as long as you're courteous to others and mother nature, you'll find out why the parks are so popular. Reduce your stress to breathe some new air, to get some exercise and just help be healthy physically and mentally. So state parks are, you know, we're where it's at. <laughs> awesome. But if you can't make it tomorrow or you don't want to spend $35 for the year wrong year long parks vehicle pass, you can still get one for free through the state vaccine incentive program. That's right. Get a shot between now and June 30th and you can choose between a parks pass, a fishing license, state fair tickets, more on that later, and a few other things. And we're told so far about 450 parks passes have been requested through that program if you're keeping score at home.